Hi and welcome to Cons Tutorial. In this video, we are going to be talking about the evolution of operating system. Operating systems have evolved over the last 60 years through several distinct phases that correspond roughly to decades. Machines of the time were so primitive that programmers often entered their machine language programs one bit at a time on rows of mechanical switches. Eventually, later on, the assembly language which used English-like abbreviations to re represent the basic operation of the computer were developed to speed up the programming process. In this video, we will discuss about operating system types used over the years. Some of these operating system types were serial processing systems, batch processing systems, multiprogramming system, time sharing system, personal computer system, parallel system, distributed system, real-time system, and networking, network operating system. So, we will begin with serial processing system. In serial processing system, users had to reserve time slots in advance, and only during the allotted period they could occupy the computer exclusively. Thus, the computer was used in sequence by different users. Of course, this system posed a lot of problems, and the problems are in two major ways. The first was in the form of scheduling. Finishing tasks early led to time wasted. This is because since the users were allotted time, some users' work was so small that they had to finish before time, and once they finished early, the rest of the time was wasted. Another problem was not finishing in allotted time because much inconvenience and delay in the development. So when the user's program was so much that it couldn't be finished within the allocated time, maybe due to um, some errors or other problems, it caused a lot of inconvenience and delays in the development. Another problem was setup time. Since, since each user had to take turns in accessing the, the computer, this involves mounting and dismounting tapes or setting up card decks which occupied a lot of time as well. Due to the limitation of the serial processing system, the batch processing system was developed. A batch processing system is a system which involves jobs. In this system, jobs are bundled together with the instruction necessary to allow them to be processed without intervention. Often, jobs of similar nature can be bundled together to further increase economy. When we talk about a job in a batch processing system, a job constituted of a set of program instructions corresponding to a particular task. And also, in the batch processing system, we had an operator. An operator was in charge of monitoring and controlling all the jobs to be processed by the monitor. So here, users do not have access to the computer system. Instead, the operator of the system collected the user programs and batched them together sequentially for use by the monitor. So some advantages of the batch systems were transfer of much work to the op of the operator to the computer. Since the workload was batched together, so there was a transfer of much work of the operator to the computer. The second advantage is increased performance. Since it was possible for job to start as soon as the previous one finished. The third advantage was simple scheduling. As well as the batch system had some advantages, it also had some disadvantages. And these disadvantages include CPU being often idle due to slow input and output devices. Another disadvantage was that a job could corrupt the monitor, thereby affecting pending jobs. Next, a job could enter an infinite loop, which will disturb the other jobs from processing. And also, 
the programs were very difficult to debug. The next kind of operating system is the multi-programming system. This system improves resource utilization by allowing one job to use the processor while other jobs use peripheral devices. The multi-programming offers an efficient approach to increase CPU utilization by organizing jobs so that the CPU is always busy executing one of the jobs. So this diagram here represents memory layout in a multi-programming system. In a multi-programming system, various programs are being loaded in the memory at once. So here we see that we have a number of programs from program 1 to program n. So here, once program 1 is being allocated the CPU, program 1 starts executing. And when program 1 needs to access input output devices, the operating system is going to allocate the input output devices to program 1 and then it is going to allocate the CPU to program 2. This is to make sure that the CPU is not idle at any point in time. So once program 1 demands to access the input output devices, the input output devices will be allocated to program 1 by the operating system and then since the CPU will not be doing anything, the CPU is going to be allocated to program 2. So once program 1 finishes to access the input output devices and program 2 finishes uh, using the CPU and needs to access the input output devices, program 2 is going to be switched and given the input output devices while program 1 is going to continue its execution. So we have um, the advantages of multi-programming system. The first advantage is increased throughput. When we talk about throughput, we talk about the total amount of processing that a computer system can complete over a fixed period of time. That is the amount of jobs the system can perform within a certain period of time is known as throughput. Another advantage, is, another advantage of multi-programming system is shorter response time. Time elapsed between submission and completion of a command is known as response time. So here the response time is the time lapse between when the program was submitted and the completion of the command. Another advantage of most programming system was increased efficiency. Since several jobs were executed at a time, this made the, the, the operating system to be more efficient since there was no waste of CPU time. Next was efficient CPU and input output utilization. The next advantage was the next advantage is management of several jobs at a time. The multi-programming system also had some disadvantages and the disadvantages are more storage space required since the memory needs to load many processes at once, more storage is required. Another disadvantage is user cannot interact with the program during processing. Next, there may be an inter-program interference because many programs reside in the memory simultaneously so this might cause interference with, between the programs so guys thank you for watching in the next video i'm going to continue with the other type kinds of operating system thank you